what is going on everybody in this video i just want to go over real quick why i think the shotgun tight formation was stealth buffed in madden 18. now what i mean by stealth buffed is that there was something changed about it that is not very noticeable and that is easily overlooked and so i think the biggest reason why it is better in madden 18 than it was in madden 17 is because of the new personnel grouping uh, that comes with it before last year madden 17 the personnel grouping you saw out of the shotgun type formation uh, was four wide receivers and one running back however this year what you're going to see out of the gun type formation is three wide receivers one tight end and one running back so because of that fact now you have a plethora of formations to audible to and from at the line of scrimmage so many more options now uh, you can go to shotgun bunch you think you know their your opponents running a cover two uh, you can go to shotgun bunch and run verticals and hit them deep down the sideline you think your opponents in a defense that looks susceptible to a trips tight end inside zone you can audible to that trips tight end and run that inside zone now whereas last year you couldn't last year mainly your your other four wide receiver formations with run one running back it was basically shotgun spread and shotgun trips which I mean both formations not bad per se but not ideal obviously not as high powered as these formations like the gun bunch like the single back tight slots like you know the gun trips tight end gun tray wide flex that you're seeing this year so stuff like that another reason why having the three wide receiver one tight end one running back personnel grouping is important is because whenever you pick your play at the play call screen now your opponent sees the personnel that you're coming out in they don't immediately see and say oh uh, they're coming out four wide receiver one running back it's most likely gun tight now they see the same personnel as if you were coming out in the gun bunch and the gun trips tight end stuff like that so they're not going to be able to instantly differentiate between the formations at the play call screen so it's going to keep your opponent guessing a pre-snap they're not going to know you're coming out in it until you break the huddle which is a big advantage as well as the fact now they have a lot more to worry about at the line of scrimmage knowing you can shift between that gun tight uh, two other complementary formations uh, within your playbook so uh, that is a huge reason another small reason i think it is better in madden 18 than 17 and it's actually not because it got buffed but because its counterpart got nerfed so kind of the counterpart to the gun tight formation last year was the gun tight offset tight end formation that you saw out of the new orleans saints playbooks and the los angeles rams this year that formation still in the game still in the saints and packers playbook now however i think it got nerfed because the z spot play which was probably the second or third most popular play out of that formation that had that c route out of that middle or the um, inside left receiver rather as you can see on the screen that was from last year uh, this year however in the gun tight offset tight end formation uh, that route is no longer there the play is still there but the route is no longer there so uh, that was a play that a lot of people uh, kind of base their offense around out of that formation along with the pa shot seams along with the you know inside zone bench stuff like that uh, but that was definitely a cornerstone play of some people's offense so now out of the gun tight offset tight end formation the play z spot still there but instead of that c route now you just get a base corner route however out of the gun tight formation you're seeing you still have that c route option in madden 18. Um, so basically the z spot play out of gun tight offset tight end got nerfed the z spot play out of gun tight didn't get touched and as a result a gun tight kind of got buffed because of the fact its main competitor got nerfed if that makes sense so now basically you're seeing gun tight the only difference between gun tight and gun tight offset tight end this year in in terms of the formation alignment is really your running back being offset since now they have the same personnel now they both have a tight end in there so um that's kind of what you're seeing and that's why i think in madden 18 gun tight is actually better than tight offset tight end now gun tight found in six different playbooks uh, broncos chargers colts falcons 49ers and panthers so six out of 32 almost 25 percent uh almost a quarter of the playbook so you can find it it's a little rare but they're out there so definitely check it out if those happen to be a playbook uh or if one of those playbooks happens to be the offense that you're currently running but that's why i think gun tight got better in madden 18 i hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely comment let me know what you guys thought let me know what i can do better for future videos guys as always thank you so much for watching and until next time take it easy